in the first half. You guys were a little slow out there, a little not moving the ball well. Uh, do you think fatigue put a factor in that? Uh, I probably won't get in trouble for saying this, but yeah, I feel <laughs> like it was. But uh, I feel like the last five minutes, six minutes of the game, uh, we came together, got those stops that we needed to get, came in with the dub. Um, uh, can you just talk about kind of the, the difference between you're seeing in, in, the, in the team's performance between the first half and the second half? It seems like you guys are performing better after after half times this season. Uh, that's something we really have to work on. Like, uh, seriously, uh, a lot of times like this, we're not going to get that, you know, especially uh, in conference. Uh, we're not going to get that second chance to have like a second boost. So we, we really have to work on that. Javon, it seems like the team goes when you go, especially when you're really aggressive in the second half. What made you give you that? What made you want to have that mind to just to just take over the way that you did in the second half? Um, all I can say is I don't want to lose. And me being that senior leader on the floor, I feel like I got my guys together and came in with that win. Javon, you guys are obviously still missing a, a couple of players. Where, where do you think this team, when, when everyone's back, can get to um, when you guys are at full, full strength? Uh, I feel like we're going to be real dangerous, especially uh, coming around conference and having everybody. Uh, we're gonna, we could be real good. Any other questions? All right, thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. First off, I want to say, you know, Western Illinois is really tough. Hard-nosed team with, with a lot of veteran guys, and, and we knew it would be a challenge for us. Um, they went to Nebraska, won there. You know, they got fifth and six-year guys, guys that really know how to play the game, um, and we knew this was going to be a challenge for us. But I'm proud of our guys, the way they fought back, showed re some resilience, um, the job they did on the boards. Um, we just got to do a better job. I got to do a better job. Um, we're finishing out games and just getting our guys prepared to start games a little bit better. So, you know, that's on me. That's not on them. I got to do a better job coaching them up, putting them in a position to start the games out a little faster than what we're getting started off. But again, I'm proud of our guys, you know, winning the boards by 12. Um, they did a good job making some free throws. And, Focus more on that, and they did a great job with that. So we got a lot of work to do, but we got some days off to get some practices in and hopefully get there. Coach, could you just talk about Javon's performance d down the stretch? He obviously, you know, ma made a lot of big buckets down uh, d in the closing minutes. Well, you know, J Javon is a very good player. You know, he he's a great person. He's a good player, and he and he's put himself in this, this position by the work he's put in in the fall. You know, up to this point on his game, um, he has a high basketball IQ. And again, we're asking that young man to do a lot. He played 40 minutes on Thursday. He came back and played 40 minutes to day and you know somewhat he's playing a little out of position because he never really played the points but um we you know he, he's doing a great job for us and i'm very happy for him